What is up everyone, Kevin here, and you're with The Modern Creatures. Welcome to another video. This time we're taking a closer look at the Poco F2 Pro. Now, people have been saying that it's a flagship killer, so let's find out if it does deliver in this review. But before we get to that, click that subscribe button if you enjoy our content because we publish videos regularly. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. From the get-go, you can easily see that the Poco F2 Pro sports an interesting design. What we have here is the cyber grey color, but it's also available in neon blue, electric purple, and phantom white. The back has this large circular module housing its quad camera setup. And to further emphasize this area, there's that circular accent surrounding it. The chassis of the phone is where things get busy. On the right is a volume rocker right above the differently colored power button. It's not the first time you've seen this on a phone, but I still like it because it gives subtle character to the device. Down below, we have the compartment for its dual SIM slot, a USB-C port, and speaker grill. While at the top are the 3.5mm audio jack and a hiding selfie camera that pops out when needed. The device itself is solid and has a good heft to it. But despite that, it doesn't feel as thick as other phones we've tried with almost the same dimensions. It's also worth mentioning that both the front and back are protected by Gorilla Glass 5, so they shouldn't get scratched easily. Because the front camera is a pop-up, there are no visible notches on the F2 Pro's large 6.67-inch screen. It's capable of Full HD Plus resolution and is HDR10 Plus certified. It also boasts of minimal bezels all around with a 92.7 screen-to-body ratio, aiming for a truly immersive experience. Additionally, it has an in-display fingerprint reader, a 360-degree ambient light sensor, and it received certification from TUV Rhineland Global Eye Care. This basically means that the screen is designed to keep your eyes safe and healthy. Since you're able to watch for extended periods of time, it's good to know that the F2 Pro is Widevine L1 certified, meaning you can watch HD content on multiple platforms like Netflix and other streaming sites. In terms of refresh rate, it's got a regular 60Hz display, so those fluid movements and transitions wouldn't be seen here. This is something that's up to the user. I personally enjoy displays with higher refresh rates, but others don't seem to mind, so it's basically a matter of preference. Now let's move on to the cameras. As I said earlier, the F2 Pro houses a rear quad camera setup. It's composed of a 64 megapixel wide carrying Sony's latest sensor, a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 5 megapixel telemacro lens, a first in the industry. Let's first talk about its telemacro camera. Using this, the phone offers up to 2 times zoom when in macro mode to be able to get you closer to your subject. And it does that successfully, but as with other macro lenses on smartphones, getting the right distance could be a challenge since the field of view is shallow. But when you hit it, it can get you satisfactory and even impressive photos. The main camera captures sharp and vibrant photos while its ultra-wide angle sensor works best for landscape shots. HDR mode is effective when shooting against the light and its depth sensor produces nicely cut out images. Here are more sample shots. The rear cameras also support up to 8K video recording and have additional features such as steady shot video stabilization, pro mode, and portrait video. And like we've seen earlier, inside the phone is a pop-up camera with a 20 megapixel sensor capable of pretty sharp selfies and can shoot 120 fps slow motion selfies as well. Additionally, you can customize the lights and sounds of the front camera as it pops up. The F2 Pro is powered by no less than a Snapdragon 865, which is currently the leading flagship processor. It's basically an octa-core CPU which the company says has increased overall performance up to 25% when compared to the previous Snapdragon 855. The phone is also partnered with up to 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of storage. It also supports 5G for ultra-fast connectivity. To top it off, it also has Liquid Cool Technology 2.0 to keep your phone from heating up as well as added features such as Wi-Fi 6, Super Bluetooth, and UFS 3.1 for faster write speeds. And finally, on the software side, it runs on Android 10 OS with Poco Launcher 2.0 on top. We've been using it for over a week now and it's definitely a phone that can handle everyday usage. There were no noticeable lags or app crashes during our entire time with it. Even while gaming, it didn't come across hiccups while running resource-heavy titles or switching between games. Extended gaming periods were also not a problem thanks to its updated cooling technology. As far as performance is concerned, consider me sold. 
In terms of battery life, its 4700 milliamp hour capacity was able to last us an entire day and still had a bit of power left to last until noon the following day. That's a combination of internet browsing, playing music via Bluetooth, and moderate gaming on the side. The F2 Pro supports 30 watt fast charging, which promises to fill up your battery from 0 to 100 in just a little over an hour. True enough, an hour of charging filled it up from 0 to 92%. And that remaining 8% was achieved after another 12 minutes. Just to quickly point out something, its pop-up camera has a built-in indicator that lights up when the device is charging. It's a small feature but serves its purpose to indicate whether the phone is charging or not. You wouldn't even have to get it just to check it. As always in our reviews, The Modern Creatures aims to find special features in a device that make it worth having. Things that give it an edge over its peers. For the Poco F2 Pro, it's not necessarily a feature, but it's the asking price. With a starting price of 26,990 pesos, you get flagship level specs that not a lot of phones offer. This simply gives the F2 Pro a significant edge over its competitors. And to wrap this video up, it's pretty obvious why one would call this a flagship killer since its internals, cameras, and features can rival the leading flagship smartphones of today. It even has TUV Rhineland High Gaming Performance Certification, which only few phones in the market have. This means that the device had to pass a series of tests for display, performance, battery life, heat dissipation, and everything else just to get certified. For the Poco F2 Pro, you'll be shelling out 26,990 pesos for the 6GB plus 128GB variant or 29,990 pesos for an upgraded 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. And that was our POCO F2 Pro review. Now, if we're gonna ask you, what would be your creature feature for this device? Is it the Snapdragon 865 CPU? It's Telemacro Lens? Let us know in the comments below because we're really curious to find out. And as always, visit our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like videos like this one. We're also on different social media platforms, so be sure to check those out. Once again, I'm Kevin, and you're with The Modern Creatures. Thank you so much for watching.